Hello everyone, um, my name is Tanmay Kumar, uh, I am from Bangalore and uh, I have entered the OCSC of the International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. Olympiads are basically these uh, exams that work on a little offbeat syllabus. Basically, you have your general CBC mainstream and then you have some concepts, some topics, some uh, interesting ideas that generally don't get covered. So, Olympiads are meant to test you in those abilities. They're meant to open your uh, minds to these ideas, give you spread awareness about science in general. I found out about these Olympiads on YouTube. Many institutes, including Narayana, keep spreading awareness about all of these Olympiads on YouTube, but they're often overlooked. I managed to stumble across one of these videos. I found out that such Olympiads exist and I had a hard time in grade 10, so I thought, why not? Um, I saw Olympiads as something interesting, something fresh, something new to learn, something uh, that would actually captivate my attention. So, <laughs> uh, that was my uh, attraction towards Olympiads and um, later it just went all the way to the camp. Generally, Olympiads, there are four or sometimes even five stages. Um, in the Astro Olympiad, the first stage is NSEA, National Standard Examination Astronomy. It's held by IAPT, Indian Association of Physics Teachers, and around 35, 40,000, it's a constantly varying number because more and more people are getting aware. Around 35 to 40,000 people attempt this paper, out of which only 11 to 12,000 get selected and come in the top 1% or top 5% depending upon the condition. Then the second stage is the INAO, which is the Indian National Astronomy Olympiad. From there, this is a secondary subjective paper where all out of these 11,000 students, only 50 are selected every year for the OCSC. Out of these 50, generally only around 35 to 40 actually join the camp. The third stage is the OCSC where you are brought to HBCSC Mumbai and um, there you are given specialized coaching, training or you know, mentoring on what astronomy is as a subject, what are the things you are supposed to know and they basically direct you towards astronomy as a field of science and maybe as a career option. From that astronomy camp, there are a bunch of tests with whom they select five candidates every year to represent India at the final stage, the International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics which is being held in Rio de Janeiro this year. Um, I This is my first year giving, this is my second year giving Olympiads. Uh, in ninth class, I gave the NSEJS and I qualified in the top 1%. I came to know about it literally 20 days in advance. I studied 20 days, I gave the exam, cleared the first stage, top 1% nationwide. Unfortunately, couldn't make it past the second stage, but that's a story for another day. Um, I've also attempted the Maths Olympiad. Uh, I cleared the first stage and the second stage. I didn't make it past the third. There's not much awareness about science as a research option. And in fact, science in the offbeat track, which is actually being researched today, which is actually in a hot debate, which is, in, which is of interest today. That is not being covered in today's CBSC syllabus. So these Olympiads are aiming to spread awareness about this field of science, this, port, this part of science, which is mostly overlooked by school syllabi. And in fact, exam, competitive exams like JEET also, may not be able to cover all of this. This is why I feel Olympiads are possibly an integral part in the education sphere. Narayana was probably the most important part. I came, I met Narayana, Narayana contacted me uh, just after, oh, just after my INAO. Uh, they organized a camp for us just before HBCSC um, invited us to their camp in May. So in April, we were invited to Ahmedabad for some training and some mentorship on what exactly we'll be doing there. We were uh, brushed up on our theory topics. We were given lots of study material. We were given star maps, which I have been struggling to find reliable star maps on the internet. We had teachers who were, explain, who were always ready to explain anything. It can be anything from the simplest of um, what conservation of uh, linear momentum all the way up to stellar dynamics. They were ready to explain anything. And the most important part was the practicals. They had high quality telescopes, they took us to faraway locations in the pitch black night so we could actually do observation sessions from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. They stayed awake the whole time so they could clarify our doubts and all in all we had a very great session. I really liked the time of the camp here and it helped me learn a lot. Thank you Narayana for all the help and the gratitude you provided us.